people who have been on game shows and won. What did you really win and how did it help your life? I was on a kid game show in the late 80s with my brother. We won, but lost the grand prize, trip to Disneyland, in the bonus round, and were given a $500 gift certificate to a toy store instead. $250 each for a toy store was absolutely incredible for a couple of kids, especially in the 80s. I still remember that shopping trip. What did you end up buying? My brother bought a Nintendo and a couple of games. I bought a ton of Cabbage Patch stuff lol. My brother was on Pyramid in 77 or 78. He got a lifetime of Riceroni. It was a case of like 48 boxes every year for like 3 years. We got a letter that the show was going off air and out of the Riceroni business. Cut us right off. P.S. My wife said it was a show called $25,000 Pyramid. Cut us right off. I'll see myself out. My grandmother was queen for a day, it's an older game show. She won a new living room set, pretty nice for the times. She won a new living room set, sounds like the ideal grandmother prize. Queen for a day, is this a gamma show where you turn into one of the greatest rock bands of all time? She was the champion, my friend. Fun fact, you get $300 if you get called down to contests row on the prices right and don't make it to the stage. Really? I thought you got parting gifts? Yeah so I actually went on the show just before covered it and right before the showcase during the commercial break the answer guy. I don't know his name but not Drew Carey game over to the contestants row and told us we all get $300. I won the top prize. 500. On a quiz show called Inquisition. This was around 1999. The check arrived right before my car registration was due. Which was helpful because I had just lost my job. I remember that show. The Inquisitor was effing creepy. Haha ha, yeah. The room it was filmed in was so small. I won the showcase on the Price is Right. It was the spring break episode so it was only college students. It was my senior year of college. Winning a new car and a bunch of other stuff made the last semester of college awesome. It's SB 9.5 years and I still drive the car. So I guess it's changed my life in that I've never had car payments. What were the taxes like? Had to pay tax on the value of all the prizes as if it were income. Luckily I hit a dollar on the big wheel and a nickel on my bonus spin and won enough cash to cover taxes. Well instead of getting a bunch of free money, you get a bunch of free money. My high school drama and speech teacher was the friend someone called for a phone a friend option on who wants to be a millionaire. Back when Regis was still the host. The guy who called him shared a portion of the money with my teacher, like 20-30k and and my teacher used the money to adopt a baby. This is cool. So nice of him to share. Holy crap. That's an amazing game show winning story. Think about that kid now their current family situation hinged on that answer. I won $125,000 on who wants to be a millionaire about 20 years ago, after taxes. I still had about $80,000, I paid my car off, got a computer, was able to quit a full time job I hated and take a more enjoyable part time job, and went to college. Now I work at a job I love that I wouldn't have if I never got a college education. RIP Regis, this story is amazing, you did everything right with the winnings, right? That person is living the dream now. Not really a game show but for those who remember Bozo Circus. I got to play the grand prize game every midwestern child's dream. How did it help my life? For every bucket you hit, out of 6, you get a bunch of toys gifts. I think I got to bucket number 4 or 5, they're much smaller in person. And we drove home with a car full of toys, games, and bozo hot dogs, as a child. It was pretty epic. My girlfriend and I were on shop till you drop and one big. I still use the dishes every day. The trip. Trips. It was a long time ago. I won was decent. I paid the taxes on my winnings with a check before leaving the lot. It took months and months for all the deliveries to come in. Which was weird. I sold off some of it, used a lot of it, and can't find the episode anywhere. How did it help my life? The producer became a friend of ours and helped me propose to my gamma shao partner girlfriend and we're still happily married 15 years later. Oh my gosh. I want to help you find the episode somehow. I watched Supermarket Sweep followed by Shop Till You Drop religiously every afternoon. 
my mom won a trip to Vegas by calling in about her worst day ever on a radio show. They were giving away a weekend for two in Vegas to someone that had a really bad day. My mom's day started off with my dad getting into a car accident totaling the van. Our only vehicle at the time. Then when she got the rental car she did some grocery shopping and accidentally locked the keys in the trunk after she loaded the groceries in. She had to wait over two hours for a guy with his arm in a sling to show up to unlock the trunk. And the key snapped off. They had to call a locksmith to open the trunk and that took another hour. All the perishable groceries were no good anymore because they were in the trunk for 3 hours. Then when my mom was finally on her way home she hit a cat. She then got home and had my brothers and I help her take in what was left of the groceries when my older brother closed the door locking all three of us out of the house. Our neighbor had to help us break back into our house by prying open a window and helping me through so I could go unlock the door. This was back in 1991 or 1992. My parents had a wonderful vacation, and 9 months later had my baby brother. If it weren't for that series of random wild events, your baby brother may have never been born. Right. It's a fun story we love to share with his girlfriends. One $700 getting a question right on a radio call-in show. My parents gave me $100 of it and kept the rest. At the time I was annoyed. As an adult looking back it was because we were flat broke. $100 was an insane amount of money to a 12 year old in the 90s. And the rest went to crazy things like us being able to eat. So overall not too bad. Oh and when I was 20 I got to stand in a glass tube as a bunch of store vouchers for my local mall zoomed around me and anything I caught I kept. Shoved them all in my shirt and walked away with a few hundred worth. I was on let's make a deal in 2016 and I won a new car. It was actually perfect timing because my old car was on its last legs and I had started saving for a new one. Then I won a new one and the money I had saved paid the fees and stuff. I won the car in August but didn't actually get it until November when the episode aired. But they drove it to my apartment and had me sign the deed and it was all pretty painless. I had heard rumors throughout life about winning on gamma shells costing you and things like that. I guess because I already had some money saved for fees and taxes it ended up really painless. Got a brand new car work 16k for about 3k in fees and stuff. Totally worth it and would totally recommend it. Here's a tip, if you ever go to one of those game shows that pick contestants out of the audience, they have a producer briefly interview everyone, usually in groups, beforehand, and as long as you're lively without being theatrical, and seem interesting without being crazy, you have a good shot at being picked. When the producer was interviewing the 20 member slot of audience members I was grouped with, he asked everyone their name and what they did and one interesting fact about themselves. And one random guy who desperately wanted to be on TV started doing the worm there in the interview area. You could immediately see on the producer's face that though he was forcing laughter, that's definitely not what they're looking to put on TV. Loose cannons are a big no-go. I would have loved to see the worm dude. Haha, <laughs> does the worm. Please stop that. Worm dude tried so hard. He sat right on the floor as close to the action as he could. And every time there was a commercial break. He got out of his seat and danced like 50 year old Napoleon Dynamite. He was so animated whenever Wayne Brady walked by they had to ask him to move further back. My mom and I went to the prices right and my mom got called down. Got on stage. And won her game. She did not win her wheel spin unfortunately. But she won $10,000 cash from her game so that was pretty good. Can't complain about winning a bunch of cash. I think about 30-40% went to taxes. That's a damn nice win. What a fun experience that must have been. I won $15,000 on Millionaire, with Meredith, not Regis. I kept $11,200. I had to wait 4 months for the episode to air and another month after that to get paid. Went to England and did a few smaller travel things with it, and then used it to rack up as little debt as possible in grad school. Years ago called into a radio show and won two tickets to a cruise through the Bahamas. Only seconds later to be told it was strictly for couples 25 and up, was extremely disappointed, was like 19 or something, and never understood why, you were not old enough to buy the timeshare which is the only reason anyone gets a free cruise to the Bahamas. Ding ding ding, you win a Toyota. I won a few thousand on Jeopardy a few years ago. It allowed my wife and I to finally go on a honeymoon two years after getting married. Maybe not life changing on a grand scale, 
but definitely made our lives a bit better, awesome. Any good Alex Trebek memories? I'm not OP, but in 1996, my older brother was born. At the time, my dad was deployed as a mechanic in Bosnia, but he had been allowed back to Frankfurt for a week for the birth of my brother. He was there to hold my brother, and then nearly immediately had to leave. On this particular flight, he was naturally quite disheveled, and so he wasn't paying attention to what was going on. He sat down, and a few minutes into the flight, heard a familiar voice, and surely enough, sitting right beside him, was Alex. Alex was flying to Bosnia to scout people for an armed forces special on Jeopardy, and he had a long conversation with my dad about fatherhood and whatnot. Please don't make me cry I'm already teary. I won the double bubble bubble gum bubble blowing contest at my local grocery store when I was 11 and I won a plaque, the bubble measure thing, and a big fat sack of double bubble bubble gum. So there's a traveling version of The Price is Right called The Price is Right Live that travels around Canada and the USA doing shows that aren't nearly as awesome as the ones on TV, but still pretty good. They came to my hometown and I was given a ticket to it on my 23rd birthday. 1000 plus people in the audience, and I get called down. I bid on this 6 lot machine worth $375 to get on stage. Then I went on stage and won a trip to Vegas. All the while the host, who was an overly tanned dude, possibly Todd Newton, kept telling me to show some excitement. The audience sang me happy birthday as I walked off stage which was nice then I got mauled by a crowd on the way out of the building because I had a very distinctive sweater on and was recognized by pretty much everyone. Well the trip to Vegas was really just $1000 in Travelocity dollars, and I was given the choice of the Travelocity money or an $800 check. I took the $800 which felt really underwhelming. Oh and I didn't even get to keep the slot machine I bid on to get on stage, which was what I really wanted. I used that money to buy a laptop. The end. 800 bucks is 800 bucks. You also went through a pretty cool experience Imo. When I was 10 I correctly guessed the weight of a pumpkin and won a packet of giant cabbage seeds. I never got round to planting them. Life has been downhill ever since that peak. Dude when I was in first grade our teacher gave us the same fun game. Problem was, she never thought anyone would actually get it right, which I did, so she didn't even have a prize. I was always salty about that. I had a math teacher that did that to us, except she just had shtai prizes. She claimed none of the students could draw an onagon. Nine-sided shape. My brother literally drew one second after she announced it, and she was blown away. So she went rummaging around for a prize in her desk. She pulled out this old day kaleidoscope that had leaked half of the fluid out. So the shapes barely moved. One first place in a singing contest sponsored by a local radio station. Scored me $500 cash and bought a new guitar. I had the chance to go to the state fair and compete on a larger stage with a chance to win studio time and some more. But declined as my talent ends at little old ladies in nursing homes and church and toddlers. They are my core audience. Not a game show. I rang the bell on the Sledgehammer game at a country fair. The girl I was on a date with was impressed. Still married after 35 plus years. I mean it did win you something. Was the closest guess in a sweets in the jar game at our local community center. I won a hamper of wine. Cheeses and crackers. I was 9. Not me. But my parents were on the new Lewed game in the early 80s and won. I guess beforehand. There was a list of items they were given and they were supposed to pick three of the prize items and put them in order of their first choice down to their third. They had just moved into their first house and really needed a washer and dryer. So they put that first, and assumed that's what they would end up with if they won. And for the third choice they put a new pop-up tent trailer with camping supplies. Something my mom definitely did not want lol. Well, they ended up with the pop-up tent trailer and camping supplies. On the video you can see my mom visibly upset they didn't get the washer and dryer haha <laughs> her poor mom. Anyway, they didn't receive their prize until their episode aired and they had to go pick it up themselves down in Los Angeles or pay a hefty price to have the prize delivered. They chose to pick it up themselves. They then incurred costs to upgrade my mom's car to an SUV with a tow hitch for the trailer. All in all, it ended up being a great prize because they kept it for 12 years, which included the first 8 years of my life. 
We took a lot of great family camping trips in that little trailer with some amazing memories made. My mom didn't totally hate it, but she eventually made my dad sell it and upgrade to a bigger trailer with its own bathroom and shower haha. <laughs> I won second prize in a beauty contest once. Won 10 pounds. One on a radio game show. Two tickets to a festival I couldn't attend and headphones worth a grand total of 7 euros. 50. Life hasn't been the same since. Mine was technically a game show. I remember vividly as I was reading through the disclosure agreements. It was listed as such. I was on a show on CNBC Make Me a Millionaire Inventor. We were episode 1 season 1. The premiere. We had developed a mouth guard that measures the severity and frequency of sport impacts. We ended up winning $100,000 investment from the investors and everything worked out. We received the capital and deployed it effectively. We are now a growing company that helps keep athletes safe around the world. For us it was rather monumental. A friend of mine won one of the last episodes Z of the weakest link. She was wanting to be able to stay home with her kids and this allowed her to do that. She homeschools her 6 kids now and is just such a happy, sweet lady. This will get buried but I won Wheel of Fortune 2 years ago. I won $67,000. After taxes it ended up being about $52,000. I paid off all my debt, went to Disney, bought some new furniture for the house and paid cash for a car. Still have about 20k sitting in savings. It was absolutely phenomenal. It had always been my dream and I still can't believe it happened.